it's another pleasant and cool morning. I put the backyard guys up there. Marty's over here. Morris was trying to visit Panther on the front porch. Hopefully he'll come around over here to eat. There you are, Morris. Hi, bud. Good boy. Let's go see if we see Stripe. Hi, Marty. Oops, there's some extra noise this morning. Hey, hey. Beautiful day. It is very nice. Yeah, Sun and cool, little breeze. Little breeze, yeah. Doesn't feel like May. Right. But I'll take like it. April, except for it's got so much tree. Early April, yeah. Anything that keeps the mosquitoes away for even one more day. That's right. Let's me visit my kitties outside in peace. Totally agree. And comfort, I'm happy about. Yes. Yep, yeah, my hibiscus has kept on putting out flowers, so so far so good. You coming? Good boy. Hello. Hello. You catch running through the woods. Off the tree. Oh, I see her. She's in there too far for you guys to see. But she is three or four feet up a tree. And Tux is trying to decide if he should do that too. <laughs> hey, bud. Well, Don has settled in on his conference call for the morning. I'm headed to Guardian Angel to meet Michelle. Um, Don was joking with everybody that you know, most of the people in Fuquay are out of gasoline. He's out of printer ink. I was able to um, help him get uh, his document signed online, which negated the need for ink. And we do have ink coming tomorrow. So I told Don I want to take Jules because um, I want to play around with um, Boombox with Michelle this morning and he just said move his unicycle or be careful of his unicycle. So let me stop filming and slide this over a bit and then uh, get out of here. Well, I'm glad today that I can um, open the door with no worries about heat escaping or whatever because um it's really dark on this side of the garage. I can't see to get in with the door shut without leaving a light All on. Right. I got Jules out and I am uh, ready to go. Trying to be ready to go anyway. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I keep on looking straight. No, look to the right, Marianne. Look straight. No, look to the right, Marianne. Well, if I was going to order weather for my birthday, I think this is what I would have ordered. Sunny and cool and uh, low humidity. I do see Michelle over there and probably a couple of other um, unsuspecting <laughs> people. <laughs> ah. There we go. All right. I don't know if I got to put it in park and then put it back in drive or not. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I do. I thought we played just a little bit. Show me what he can do. Okay. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Play that while you're driving. Yeah, you can hear it outside pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it puts it in the car and it puts it outside. Like I'm in a movie or the TV show. <laughs> and here, our personal favorite for those people not crossing the street in a timely fashion. <laughs> last one, last personalized one. Oh, yes! Hey, Jules, I'll be back. You can have Ruby spot today. 
So for the person that doesn't usually appreciate it when other people drive around with their music so loud I can hear what's going on in their car, I think it's pretty cool to play the music in well, Jules. <laughs> at least it doesn't make my chest thump. Right, like that's the do. thing that gets me more than hearing the music is the when they're shaking Thanks. my car along with their car. Yeah, I may have a few grumbles under my breath when that happens. It hurts my heartbeat. <laughs> Say that again, Jeff. Y'all got gas? Uh, <laughs> I don't need gas. <laughs> That's a good yeast for the old um, pretzel uh, barrels. They've got connects in them. Our first mermaid find. Yay. It says mermazing. Because you are mermazing. You know. It is a banner costume jewelry day today. I have to, and no, it's not $39, it's $3.99. <laughs> so you thought those socks you gave me in my birthday bag yesterday were funny, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're thinking and I need true. this, I guess you're thinking I need this decaled out. Well, you know, the problem is, is I'm not one cat away, I'm already there. Well, those items are all gorgeous when you can't hold all of the Christmas stuff until Christmas. I do really like this, I do. I think the kitties had a little bit of a good time playing with the bat hanging bat on the string though. I'm tempted. I actually think that would look pretty neat in a garden setting. As long as it wasn't blinding drivers. There is another great and adding selection of frames and prints today. I must have flowers always and there always. You Your latest photo prop. It's only eight bucks, no glass or anything, but if you're just gonna use it to frame people and take pictures, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Michelle found her head at Guardian Angel today. It was lost. <laughs> Friendship is a sheltering tree. It's too bad that's not metal. It's a cat, but not that kind of cat. I'd say that makes a good day, either Ariel or Connor, when the beat drops. Yes, yes, yes. A fifth sun shirt. Starry Night, Darth Vader. I think it's so cool. North Carolina, where every other t-shirt is for NC State, especially in, in the red section. So I'm pretty excited. I found a new Corel pattern. It's one I don't have any of. I, I like it bunches. I think there's seven of both. So this is an antique powder box. It's so pretty. They're only asking three for it. If I had a use. Hello, Jules. Michelle has my box, which mostly is heavy because it's got my Corel in it. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. Yay! Probably. That way when I slam on the, the brakes or <laughs> accelerate fast, it's got more room to slide. <laughs> I thought I'd summon Jules with the boom box on, so I have it up on my phone. Go to Target. Although, I think it's going... I think the target wasn't exactly me. You can hear the Knight Rider theme. Yeah, I actually think that is where the target was. Zeb was always really great about the target here. Let me press. Put the target, my location is the target. Oh, I see how this works. Now, I actually had not, um, now go to target, Jules. Hello. Hello. Is she gonna come? No, don't do that, sweetie. <laughs> there. Target me. <laughs> Pretty cool. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I did have one gentleman come up and um, say, wow, and that's pretty cool. And he said, that's a Tesla, right? And I said, yes, sir. It's a performance Model Y. And um, he goes, wow. And, you know, smiled and 
appreciated seeing the demo, I think, and walked away. So now that we can be outside and a little safer, closer to people, I hope, um, time to start, you know, doing some and every once in a while and letting people have the opportunity, I guess, to ask questions and watch and, um, you know, a little bit more sharing with people again. I really enjoyed driving Jules today between Boombox and Summon. Um, it was just fun. I continue to wish that um, Jules would open the door for me when I approach the car because my hands are always full. And I also am having some extra pain here lately. Like I've pulled something probably, you know, from a result of the surgeries I've had. And having to lean out and grab the door and pull it in, it's just, you know, it hurts a little bit. So I miss the door, putting my foot on the brake and the door shutting. Um, you know, I get it. This car doesn't have that. That's okay. Uh, the only other thing that bothered me today was the very slight gray tone differences in the gear selection. First of all, it being on the left side of the screen over there. And also the tone between in gear and out of gear and the size in gear and out of gear. It's like, God, how are you supposed to know what gear this car is in? I mean, you can know, but you really have to sort of look. Um, so that was that caught me a little bit today. Um, you know, the speed being over there and the other stuff being over there, it's all right. Because I look over there a lot in Ruby because there's, in, you know, the navigation's on the center. But the gear selector stuff, um, you know, I'm still of the opinion if I were going to drive this car a lot, I would really want the HUD. Um, for the basics, for the speed, and the um, gear selection up on the glass there where I could see them more easily. The other thing that I'm sure you guys want to know, besides, let me just reiterate the price of the boom box putting the speaker in was $200, and that included the labor. It didn't include tax, so it was like $214 with tax. And that was what was advertised, and that was what, that was what we got. Um, but I just want you to know that at low speeds in forward or reverse, I cannot hear the pedestrian alert inside the car. And sometimes I had the AC, like right when I got in at Guardian Angel, because I didn't have climate on, it was pretty, the AC was pretty loud. It was even sort of sounded louder inside than Ruby sounds, um, which is saying, <laughs> saying a lot. But anyway, I could certainly couldn't hear it then, and I really couldn't even hear it, um, when the AC was on low and I was, you know, backing up or moving forward into a parking space like over at South Park, I couldn't hear it. So I'm not like, oh God, what did we do? We need to disconnect that speaker. I'm, I'm not feeling that way. I'm just, it's fun for some stuff and then maybe it actually helps people outside the car, but I'm really not noticing it, not noticing it in the bad way. I'm sure if I roll down the window or if I was a pedestrian near the car, I can hear it, but it's not... It's not irritating me as the driver or passenger inside the Tesla. So if you were worried about that, I guess you could go test drive one at Tesla and see what you think test driving one of the ones that has the pedestrian alert. Or I would just say, you know, if you were thinking you're on the fence about getting it installed because you're afraid it makes too much noise, it probably doesn't make too much noise. I'm home now. It's 70 degrees out and really pleasant, so I'm like likely to uh, walk the driveway and blow it. I just didn't have time this morning, but it needs it after the rain. Every time it rains, even, even more stuff than normal comes down, so it definitely could use, used to be blowed. I told Don he's responsible for putting Jules back in the garage for me. I don't, I can pull her out no problem, but he gets to put her in. Is she not making any noise? Nope. Huh. I can hear the air conditioners. That's a noise. You put it in park. Can you put it in park? She was making the forward noise. The forward noise is a different noise from the back noise and it's not as loud. Well, it sounds more like a air conditioner running, but when you put it in park, it turned off. So put it back in drive? Sure. 
Yeah, it's just making a static. That's just a white noise sound. Right. Whereas the backup one is more intense. Yeah, well, I don't like the, the drive noise. That's, that just sounds like there's something wrong. <laughs> right. Well, it's only at low speeds. I just filmed a little clip that said inside the car. I haven't been able to hear well, I, it. I, I totally agree that you would not hear that inside the car. Right. Well, you can add the driving sound of something. Um, so let's see. Uh, well, um, here, we'll just put it back to Knight Rider. Yeah, that's a little much too. But I'm just saying, if you want it to, wanted it to, re if you really cared about, you know, thought the standard one was not enough noise. Okay, so you can turn it on and off while you're in. You can turn the driving sound on and off while you're in drive, but you can't change the sound. You have to put it in park to change the sound. Okay, so you can turn it on and off right. while you're driving, but right. you cannot change the sound while you're driving. You have to be in park. Yeah, that's okay. the little drop down list is grayed out, but okay. the little put the little button on and off is allowed to be so pressed. What are the other driving sounds? Oh, uh, there's a whole bunch. Well, I understand. Coconuts. What's the coconut sound like? That's not bad. Sounds more like a horse to me. Yeah, it, it, I get that most people would not recognize that from Monty, Monty Python. That's toss a coin. I don't get what that is, but... Um, harp. Merry go round. That's not bad. Um, Caribbean. Richard's personal favorite. I like that. Well, you know what? The driver gets to pick. Right. Well, Don pulling her in for me. So I'm just going to clarify inside the car, I can't hear the forward alert at all. I can hear the reverse alert if the AC is on low, but I can't hear the forward alert. Yeah, the bonus to the forward alert being so inconsequential is that uh, you can't hear it inside the car when you're when the windows are up. Huh. It doesn't annoy you, is what I'm trying to say. It may be, uh, and who you know, outside the car, but it doesn't annoy you. And and as people get used to more Teslas with these alerts going around, they'll just know the sound. Yeah. Like there's one of those electric cars coming. Right. Well, look, it it sounded like. A, radi a fan of uh, drawing air through the radiator, you know, that kind of, that's what it sounded sure, like. Sure, like an engine was running behind like an, there. Uh, not fast, just right. kind of a little bit of that fan noise. Right. That's what it sounded like. And I guess if I was going to make a default driving so sound, I would have done that. I probably would have switched it done something different anyway uh, and i would have used the beep 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 that oh. really beep for the backup sound and i did use that hoosh 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 hoosh, hoosh for, for the, the forward, forward. you would have put the backward for forward and then done beep beep, beep for backwards beep, 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 beep for gotcha drive people nuts well at any point i'm not sorry we added it to jules oh, the yeah. sounds are not annoying to the driver no, even even them. when there's no music playing there's just a little low AC fan. Yeah. But God, Jules fired up the AC at Guardian Angel and I swear inside the car, not outside, but inside the car, I'm like, holy Moses, that's louder than Ruby and that's saying right. something. Um, the other thing is that we're going to need now is I need like a like a, a spot on the screen or something, a button I can tap to turn on off. in other words, like we need like a shortcut to the turn the driving sound or yeah, switch to Yeah, exactly. Yep. I can see where you would want a shortcut button for that. Yeah. Yeah, the driving sound could definitely be something you would want to on and off a lot. You know, you probably can. I keep forgetting about the voice commands. And they work well now. It's hard to be mad at Marty. It really is. Hi. Hello. I got a can of food for you. And she seemed to have such an insatiable appetite. 
I need to talk to the lady about the drop trap again because I really want to go get Marty looked at. And I realize I'm able to touch her, but she's still really slappy if you move wrong. And you'll just have to take my word for it that picking her up is not a good idea. But I see the thinning hair around her chin, and I'd really like to take her and get her looked at. Hi, honey. Come on. Half the time, I think it's a she. And that she's pregnant. And the other half, I think it's a he with a tattoo that's been neutered. It's really hard to know. I'm just back from walking the driveway and blowing. I have a Marty under the van. Johnny's up the hill with Stripe and maybe Morris. He said he saw Morris too. So I'm out to run a short errand and the cupboard had the same line today that it had yesterday. Um, you know, obviously I've heard that the pipeline has started back up. I'm not up to speed on the latest details of that, but um, they were hopeful. Last I read, to, you know, things would smooth out in a week or two, hopefully sooner than later. I noticed when I was out earlier that the gas stations up here on Main Street, uh, neither one of them had gas. So it's about the same here today as it was yesterday as far as shortages and lines. Donnie handmade me a card like he always does even though he's been working 10 hour days and just been sort of sucked in a little bit more every day to that contract back there but I really like how he picked the kitty cat for the cup cupcake I don't even remember I had that stamp I'm not surprised I bought it but I didn't remember I had it it says live well laugh often love much hope you have a hoot and good birthday love dawn and he put an owl on there because next to next to cats we all know that i like owls that's right thank you donnie You're it's welcome. very sweet i really appreciate it happy birthday i love you i love you too so you want to see what you got me for my birthday this is what we got for her birthday. <laughs> Notice this right here. All right, Lady well, Bo. that and all of the plants and all of the new plant pots That's and all right. of the orders for Legos to work on my modulars while you're That's working. Right. It, it would be a toss-up some days as to whether or not it's economical for you to work yeah. or me to work on my Legos. <laughs> yeah. It's not that bad, but, you know, you yeah. Know. So go ahead, take it out. All right, here you go. Because he hasn't seen it. He doesn't know what it is. So it's the Creator Corner Garage, 2,569 pieces, and I have a plan that Michelle and I talked about. Oh, look at all the little figures. I got a truck. The gas tank, the Octon gas tank in the very center uh, there is going to become a Tesla supercharger. Yeah, baby. I'm going to look for a modified tow truck that's a flatbed. instead. you put of, your cyber truck there? Or, well, I'm going to change the tow truck to a flatbed. And then I'm also going to park the cyber truck like over here in front. So Wait, the cyber what? truck will be in or inside the cyber truck might fit in the bay or the little door on the garage actually goes up and down and the second floor is a pet, is a pet shop. Oh, of course it, it comes is. with pets and the all it, it's a veteran it's a veterinary actually it's like a vet office. Okay. It's a veterinarian thing. So but I'm going to make the green that's here this, the dark red or the bright red, one of the two, I'm going to turn it into Tesla. I'm not going to do the green accent. I'm going to do dark gray and red uh, and make it look like Tesla a Tesla colors. showroom, Tesla showroom mm. with a supercharger out I front. So like there's, it. so there's a plan. There's, there's a, plan. a plan. Yep. I like it. Yeah. But this is for when I'm, well, I guess with some changes, I am going to have to actually think about it, but these kits and bags now, it's hey, just, hey, it's, no challenge. It, maybe when I don't feel good and I want to work on something, yeah. this would be what I would work on is how I look at these actual modular kits. Yeah. But the Crabtree store was actually stocked with all the modulars. You know, oh. people, Donald want me to sell it in two years if I haven't put it together. People resell them for twice what they buy them for. Oh, they, they buy them. Oh, the they're thing. like gold. I mean, it's it's almost as good as Tesla stock. Yeah, you buy okay. this, and then you eBay it in two two years, and people that didn't know they needed it yeah. are willing to pay crazy this, sums of money for it. This is not just a big box with a few parts. I mean, this thing is heavy. Right. When you've got 2,569 Lego pieces, you have got some serious weight. Yeah. yeah, that's why Michelle carried it through the mall for me since my chest, my shoulder was really bothering me. She wouldn't let me carry it because Aww. she's that kind of a friend. Thank you, Miss Michelle. Yeah. Don helped me dust the top shelf of the studio and then I 
added my um, corner garage box and rearranged things a little bit. And um, I, you know, I haven't put the bookshop together, which is that big box over there, because I wanna I wanna change it up. I mean, I might end up putting it together just like it is, but I'm not totally sure. Anyway, turn mood on. Okay. Yeah, I've dusted down below where I can reach uh, at least once a month. Uh, and I might not dust anything else in the house, but I dust my Legos. <laughs> um, but I hadn't dusted up top because obviously I can't reach and so Don was really helpful. But um, it's up there until I'm ready for it. I told him even the boxes are worth money. <laughs> 